Okay, so I yesterday I installed the pan underneath this door and I want to show you the purpose of this pan and how it works. If you if you just realize how important that is and that's where most common leaks are on a flat roof. Let me show you. So I put some more water here to make sure that you get the effect of a rain, right? And see what happens. Let me I'm going to remove the door. And look here, look, water went underneath the door. This is super, super important here. If you don't have this properly done, water will seep down to your, uh, whatever you have downstairs or in your wall. And this, see the water comes in underneath that door and comes out again, see? Very, very important. And the shingle roof. So this video is going to help you to understand how to do this. This is one of the most important parts of a roof. If you have a door, right there. So you have a door. I just removed the door now. There must be a pan here. A pan is where it sits underneath this door so. <coughs> this just sits on there and if the wind blows the water will blow underneath this into your house here this is one of the most common problems on roofs with a deck and a door the leak is almost almost always underneath the door so the transition you need to make sure if water blows underneath here like this you can see when it sits there right like there Water can get in there, mm -hmm. underneath. So you need to protect that part of the roof. So in the old days, they used to make a pan out of copper. Let me show you. Something like this. And I, I'm not, I don't have all the material to do a copper, but it's something like this. They put a pan like this, And this is what they used to do, okay? And then <clears throat> that would be inside there. So when, and then the copper will come over this. So when water comes in here, it can flow out again. That was the idea in the old days. And this should not be higher than the floor because you don't want to see it. This is the floor inside the house. So, I want to show you an easier way to do it. There's no need to do copper and soldering and you don't need to do that. Now, I want to show you how easy it is to do. To make a pan, so water cannot leak into the house, is very simple. You paint, um, Turbo poly seal. You paint, take the turbo poly seal and you paint it in here just like that. Very, very quick, easy. Right up to the board there, right there, right there. So, this is the floor of the inside of the house, and I'm gonna cut myself a fleece a little bit longer than what I want just a little bit and I put the fleece right in there watch right there it goes up goes up like that in a corner and up in the side here as well just like that see that you can cut it in a corner to make it a nice corner like you do like this that you see that like a corner nice there you coat this again with a turbo you coat this just like that look how nice that is see that corner now I have to do this as well I'm gonna show you now I have to do coming over this plywood and over the roof here but this is now the inside part 
Another place where water leaks, if you don't have that, let me show you. Very, very, very. Water will travel underneath this wood here. Underneath here, you see here? Water travels on both sides and it will go right here and right there and it will fill up this pan. You cannot not have this. You have to have this. <clears throat> this is super, super essential. Now, let me show you something. If you make the pan, the water will sit there and wants to flow out again. This is very, very crucial here. Water would flow right into this corner. See where the membrane is? See that corner there? It will flow down here on the sides, right to this flashing, okay? So you need to make sure this is covered. So this is what I'm doing next. All right, so you paint you paint this and again very important this is one of the most important steps if you have a door like that to make sure water you can see the plywood it always has a gap and you, you're gonna have water leaking in there if you don't fix it so so I had to remove the, the siding it's gonna leak in a Right there, you got it. Okay. So I'm going to put my fleece. Again, I'm cutting it a little bit longer than I, I stored here. Yeah. Let's see where it's going to go. Right there. So I'll put it there. So, like that. And like that. So I'm covering everything so i would like to cover that corner there right there where i cut it see where i cut it like there make sure you cover everything where water can get in and there you go cut myself a piece cut a piece there something like that See that? Beautiful. Now I know water cannot leak there. And this is it. The pan, this completes the pan on the door. Very, very, very sealed properly. It will never leak. Okay. Easy to do if you know how to do it. And I know when we Tomorrow I will put the door back because I cannot put it back. It's wet now. It takes 24 hours and I'll put the door back and then you'll see. This is beautiful. Um, not Water will get in underneath the door sill and it can come over onto the roof. That's important. Okay? And that's how you do a door pan.